Hey, it's Josh Reimer, and I'm here with my boyfriend Heath in Jasper, Alberta, which is a designated dark sky preserve and actually accessible by train, as you're going to see in this episode of the Travel Tidbit about our first day here. <laughs> So we got to Jasper by train. We took Via Rail from Vancouver and we got our own sleeper cabin, which was so cool. There are a couple spots to sit in it that turn into a bunk bed situation at night. And throughout the rest of the train, there are different areas to hang out, to sit and take in the views, to have some food, uh, even some entertainment on board. But of course the main entertainment is out the window. The views are spectacular as you travel through the Rocky Mountains across Western Canada. What an experience. This is so unique and special compared to driving or flying. In Jasper, we went to Coco's Cafe for lunch. It's locally owned and operated, and they specialize in vegetarian, vegan, and celiac friendly fare, although they do have other options as well. And their coffee and espresso is ordered, roasted, delivered, and served all in the same week. Plus their baristas go through extensive training. So this was a really cool, kind of funky, very local place to have lunch. Before heading out with Meline Adventures to go on a Meline Canyon ice walk. So this has been designated a signature experience by the Canadian Tourism Commission for its outstanding beauty and unique charm. They have these daily ice walk tours where a guide takes you along the frozen canyon floor to see uh, ice caves, fossils, towering frozen waterfalls. <laughs> I mean, this was a very unique and cool experience that you could really only have in Jasper. And then after all that walking around, we built up an appetite to go for dinner at Evil Dave's Grill. It's a casual restaurant that serves creative, globally inspired food, along with some specialty cocktails and wine. Or as they like to say, they serve wicked food. So it's fusion Asian global cuisine. And it's a locally owned family restaurant that uses fresh ingredients with some creative flair. We felt like we were having another authentic Jasper experience and a tasty one. Before finishing our day at the Jasper Planetarium. So they have an air supported dome theater for a live virtual tour of Jasper and above. And Jasper is the world's largest accessible dark sky preserve. So once inside the planetarium, a guide took us through local Aboriginal constellations, views of the Northern Lights, basically all of the space up above the Rockies. I'd say we went right to the edge of the universe in about 35 minutes. And that was our first day in Jasper. Thanks for watching. And did you know that you can get handwritten postcards from me to you by signing up at joshreimer.com postcards? Because now you do. Bye.